The guided access feature of the iPad allows you to temporarily restrict your iPad device to a particular app. This is a nice classroom management feature if you have an iPad that you want to limit to a certain application. Guided access must be set up ahead of time on each iPad individually, so it is not a tool you can quickly use to lock down app access for an entire classroom of iPads. To set up guided access, go to Settings, General, Accessibility, and tap on Guided Access. Turn Guided Access on. Tap on Set Passcode and set the passcode that will be used when Guided Access is enabled. If you want, tap on Enable Screen Sleep. This will dim the screen after a period of inactivity. Now you are ready to use Guided Access. Open the app you want students to use. Triple click on the Home button. At the bottom of the screen, you will see three buttons. It's recommended to leave these settings as they are unless you wish to disable certain features. To begin, tap the Start button in the upper right. A student or other user cannot disable guided access without your passcode. When a user presses the Home button to go to a different app, he or she will receive a message that they must triple click the Home button to disable guided access. When the user triple clicks the home button, he or she will be required to enter the passcode, which is only known by the teacher and must be entered correctly to exit the app. You can even restrict a student to a specific website in Safari and disable their ability to browse to a different website. To do this, before you tap the Start button to enable guided access, draw a box around the upper portion of the browser including all navigation tools and the search and address bar. This will disable the browsing area after you tap the Start button. Using guided access requires touching each device prior to student use, but it can provide a nice layer of management for devices you want focused on a single purpose.